This is question number eight. We're told the diagram shows the curves y equals a to the x and y equals 4b to the x. In the first part of the question, part a for one mark asks us to state the coordinates of a point of intersection of y equals a to the x with the y-axis. If it's going to cross the y-axis, x will be equal to 0, so y will be equal to a to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1, so the y-coordinate will be 1. So we have the point which we should just be able to write down as 0, 1. Let's now look at part b for one mark. We're asked to state the coordinates of the point of intersection of y equals 4b to the x with the y-axis. Again, x is going to be 0, y will be equal to 4 lots of b to the 0, b to the 0 is 1, y is going to be 4, so we can state that that point right there will be 0, 4. So, that's the first two parts done for two marks. We now need to state the possible value, or state a possible value for a, and a possible value for b. If we consider this is y is equal to a to the x, we can see that now from these coordinates. So if I just pop these on, what we've got just here, this is going to be 0, 1, and this is going to be 0, 4. So we have y is equal to a to the x, and we have y is equal to 4 lots of b to the x. We can see this is an increase in function. So we can say that a has got to be greater than 1. Therefore, I'm just going to say that a is equal to 2. We can see that b is a decrease in function, or y is equal to 4b to the x is a decrease in function. So we can say that b will have to be greater than 0, yet in turn it has to be less than 1. So all I'm going to write is b is going to be equal to 1 half. So they are two possible values that we could have for a and b. If this is increasing, a is greater than 1. If it's decreasing, b has got to be between 0 and 1. Let's now move on to the second part here for 5 marks. It says it is now given that a, b is equal to 2. We need to show the x-coordinate of a point of intersection of y equals a to the x and y equals 4b to the x can be written as x is equal to 2 over 2 lots of log to the base 2 of a minus 1. OK, if we have a look at this, this now doesn't have a term with b in. So what I'm going to do is set up simultaneous equations and then make the substitution here. And I'm going to write that b is equal to 2 over a. So let's have a look at what we've got. We've got y is equal to a to the x. We have y is equal to 4b to the x. Therefore, what I can state is that a to the x will be equal to 4 b to the x. Let's now take this. We have a b is equal to 2, therefore we can write b is equal to 2 over a. I'm going to sub this in and we can write a to the x is equal to 4 lots of b to the x. So I can write this as 2 over a to the x or I could write it as 2 to the x over a to the x. There are lots of different ways that you can execute this. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by a to the x. So a to the x multiplied by a to the x. Just rewriting this 4 as a power of 2, this is 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of x. So using the rules of indices, we add them. So we get a to the 2x is equal to 2 to the 2 plus x or 2 to the x plus 2. I'm now going to take logs of both sides of this equation and I'm going to use base 2. Log to the base 2 of a to the 2x is equal to log to the base 2 of 2 to the x plus 2. Using the power law, if I have log a to the power of k, I can write this as k log a. I'm going to do that on the left hand side of the equation and write this now as 2x log to the base 2 of a will be equal to x plus 2. Log to the base 2 of 2 is just 1, so this is going to give me x plus 2. I now have to make x for subject. I've got 2x log to the base 2 of a and x over here. So I'm going to write x. We've got 2 log 
to the base 2 of a minus 1 is equal to 2. And all I'm going to do is divide through by the content of a bracket. x is equal to 2 over log to the base, or I should say 2, log to the base 2 of a minus 1 as required. That is one of the many ways that you can do that question. And as long as you're showing it with a legitimate approach, you will be given the five marks.